Second. So, I want to be on film. You can't do that. Um, who did this by addition? One, two, three. Okay, who did it by subtraction? I was almost doing it. Ashley didn't even raise her hand. Okay, I know. Ashley. All right. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, I think addition is usually pretty easy to do. However, you can go through the subtraction, but like you said, you know, subtraction, a lot of times we're bound to make mistakes. So, if I look at this, I can use addition. If I use subtraction, I would eliminate my x values, right? Yes. All right. The question I have is, what do you do when there's a positive or negative or whatever? If it's not the same sign. If it's not the same sign, then, then we can use addition, as long as the coefficient is the same. So you can just pick whichever one you want to use? For this problem, we could have done addition or subtraction. Well, and I'll show you. If, like, it was a, if it was a different problem, why couldn't you do the same thing? You said for this problem, we could do that. The reason why this problem, we can do addition and subtraction, because this problem, the x values are the same and same sign. And the y values are the same, but opposite signs. Not always when you're when we're doing these do they have the same values in front, right? They usually have different numbers in front. That's why you can't always eliminate. You can only use elimination when the numbers are exactly the same. If the numbers aren't exactly the same, you can't do use elimination. So you have to get the numbers to be the same. Okay, that's why. So for this one, let's use addition real quick, and then I'll do subtraction. So addition: x plus x, two x. Negative y plus positive y, zero, zero y. 1 plus 3 equals 4. Okay? 2x equals 4. Divide by 2, x equals 2. Now, to find the value of x, I'm sorry, I already know the value of x. Now I just need to plug that into an equation, right? So I'll plug it into the second equation. It doesn't really matter which one you do. Um, but I'll plug that in for 2 plus y equals 3. Subtract 2 on both sides y equals 1. Make sure, guys, when you're doing substitution, remember, put parentheses around it and plug it in. Now, for those of you, there was a couple that said, oh, I did subtraction. Let's just take a look at what subtraction would look like. So if you're going to do this whole thing, but you wanted to do subtraction, that's a positive x. It would look something like this, right? I have the exact same problem. Instead of adding, I'm going to subtract x minus x is a negative y minus another y is negative 2y. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. That cancels out. Negative 2y equals negative 2. Divide by negative 2, y equals 1. Did y equal 1? No. Yeah. Yes. Can we plug 1 back into our equation? Of course we can. So let's do x plus 1, because I'm going to plug the 1 in for that y, equals 3 minus 1, x equals 2. So it doesn't matter how you solved it, you guys should have got the same answer. But the main important thing to remember is you only do subtraction when you have the same number in front. In this case, it's 1. When your, your coefficients are the same and they have the same sign, you subtract. When your coefficients are different and they're the same number, you add. In this case, you had both scenarios in the same problem, so you could have done it either way. All right? Just make sure, though, those, those coefficients are the same value.